Hi everyone, Kieran Ozapin from Filmstorm Studios and it's been a while since I've posted a video but I've actually been working on this system uh, that was actually inspired by The Legend of Zelda and I'm sure everyone that is keen has been either playing it or has seen footage of it so I decided to make a climbing system that basically replicates uh, The Legend of Zelda system might not be as polished right now, but uh, I would like to think of this as my first uh, beta. So let's have a look. So you can basically run up to a wall and it engages the climbing system. And you can see that we have the, the countdown system. So if you start to climb and he'll let go, then you have to let that rebuild. Uh, the system's pretty um, complex in the fact that it lets you blend around corners it's got some sort of a, a small IK system going on. So when you stop, uh, he places his hands on the wall. He can handle curves uh, like these cylinders. Let me run up to these. So you can run up and you'll notice that he can blend around the, um, the cylinder and can also climb it. Uh, he can jump and land. Uh, he can also, if we climb up, and he detects the ledge, you can stay there and let your stamina rebuild and then you can press down again and continue the climb and keep going. So you, and you can see the system is very robust in that sense. And you can even do these little objects in little, in little parts. So you can do this. So the system is pretty um, fully featured. And as I said, you can. I'll show you um, what it looks like in the actual editor um, to see that I haven't placed any triggers along any of these um, bricks. Um, so what we need to do is just jump into the scene view and I'll show you that it is completely um, legit. <laughs> yeah. um, let's just zero out this cube. All right, and then let's scale it up. We'll just start with a simple test. Let's place this one over here. All right, so absolutely nothing done, nothing, no tags or anything, no, no layers. So let's run around to this cube. Just run into it and voila. And it automatically knows exactly what's happening on the cube, knows where all the ledges are. Oh, and one added bonus. Uh, it's also got a drop, um, drop down system. So you can just press E and he'll snap into that. And then you can also press down and continue climbing. You can also jump off the wall. Um, basically the only thing I haven't implemented yet is um, uh, like in Zelda, when you press jump up, he kind of does a, a vault up. So you, um, instead of jumping up, he, he doesn't do that yet. He'll only jump off the wall. A um, couple of other things that I need to improve on is moving IK. I'm having a bit of problems with that um, to actually get the hands to sit a bit better on the wall. Uh, if anyone has any suggestions, uh, just let me know and I can implement that. And also the um, the IK when his hands are getting placed on the cylinder to, to get up, you'll notice they kind of lift off a little bit, but they're still kind of sticking. But I'd like to be able to refine that if anyone has any suggestions. And it also um, handles um, overhangs, which most climbing systems actually struggle to do. You'll notice um, when you start to climb up, he'll adjust. Whoop. You'll notice when he climbs up, he'll start to adjust. Um, there, there we go, now it's working. Like I said, it's a beta. We will smooth these things out. And we'll jump off there. And he'll also um, handle these um, these kind of ledges. Let's uh, just jump around the corner and you'll see that um, well, the system detected that it's um, it was too much so it kind of blended the other way. So little little refinements that we need but um, essentially the system is running quite well. I'm pretty pretty happy. With it. I haven't actually been able to make a, um, a climbing system like this. It actually took lots and lots of um, FSM states and um, craziness. Like, check out my uh, detection detectors. Um, I'll actually turn on the 
gizmos and you'll kind of see oh, where are we over here you'll see all the little um, bits and bobs that I've got triggering and detecting when I'm going around corners and stuff and that helps the character blend um, and stick to the wall better and didn't quite make it that time um, and also I've got I've been setting up a ragdoll system but I haven't implemented that as of yet uh, it was kind of being a little bit buggy but you can see everything um, these are basically everything that's on the character all the all the different ray casts and um, capsule colliders and everything that I've got going on it's a little bit complicated but it's actually doing the job quite well and I've got a bunch ton of uh, ray casts going on you'll notice that um, it actually shoots out a 360 degree um, radius of um, of uh, things so he'll drop down and turn that on and that that way um, if someone runs off the edge we can actually trigger the uh, the drop down a lot better so we'll just turn that off um, and what was another thing oh I've actually managed to blend uh, cylinders when you go between cylinders uh, that was actually causing a lot of problems but you can notice that uh, the blending here is quite quite nice. He does he does nice transitions. Um, I was pretty happy with that. I'm not sure how this is. See how this actually has a gap there? Let's have a look at how that... Oh, he, he blends that quite nicely, uh, which is good. Um, I've also implemented the, um, like, kind of diagonal diagonal movement haven't made an animation for that yet uh, he kind of just uh, shuffles up but the movement's still there he can go either way and again pull himself up so there is a lot of um, things that I've implemented I will we'll be putting this system up on filmstorm.net um, everyone will be able to buy it um, and also one more feature that I'm going to be implementing is the jump and grab onto the wall um, if it detects there's a ledge, he'll grab the, the ledge, and if there is the wall, he'll just grab the wall and might slide down a little bit with the inertia. Um, but everything else um, seems to be functioning quite nicely. A lot of, a lot of the system just needs a bit of um, tidying up and um, just refining. But you can see that his hands do, do use a bit of IK and adjust, adjust to, the, to the ledge. So if we kind of come up to this angle, See how his hands uh, place along the, the edge nicely there. And we can come back down. So there, there is a lot of um, thing uh, implementing. Oh, and also this is, I kind of made this as a reference to Zelda, this big wall, because Zelda, um, Link's always climbing up stuff. Uh, so I think, I think that's pretty much all of the things I've implemented uh, so far. So I'll be, we'll be posting an update to this video to show off some more features and let you know when it's going to be live. Um, if people are really wanting to get their hands on it, I can release the beta version. Um, and people can start just helping me uh, notice stuff and fix up stuff. But um, if, you're, if you're really keen to, to get your hands on it, just let me know and I'll, um, I'll see what I can do. But yeah, well, thanks everyone. Thanks for watching and I look look forward to making some new tutorials soon i've just been really busy uh, with some other game projects and uh, also developing this this project oh and oh well that just reminded me just when the camera went through uh the cylinder just here i'm also going to be building the um the camera raycast so it um it moves backwards and forwards to to stop objects so you'll notice if if it's here it will go close to the character so it's not going through all these walls so that's also going to be a um, another um, update. Um, but yes, I think that is pretty pretty much it for for this update. Thanks everyone for watching, and I hope you found this uh, pretty exciting. Um, if you wanted to see anything else or wanted me to test any other objects, um, just let me know. Um, and yeah, and I'll I'll try and do that. Oh, and also one other thing. I, this is like probably like three fake endings right now, but um, I just remembered uh, there's one other thing that I want to implement. Uh, let's come over to here. So you see here, if he's, if he's going over a small hanging object, um, and if I can make him go down, I want his legs to actually hang, 
I mean, at the moment he's using IK, but I want his legs to hang so that he's like traversing over, like if there was a pipe, he can um, pull himself across that. So that will be one other thing I implement. So there's only a few things um, I have left to do. And this is just my little film storm model that I <laughs> just whack together in Maya. Um, it helps me see uh, the joints better than being blocked by a, another model. Um, so thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day and I hope to see you soon.